Welcome to 60 Second Civics from the Center for Civic Education. I'm Mark Gage. Over the years, the courts and legislators have grappled with the question of whether the right to associate means that one has the right not to associate with certain people. The Supreme Court has ruled that the government cannot interfere in a person's choices about whom to associate with in private life. On the other hand, the court has ruled that in some situations that go beyond close personal relationships and involve larger social purposes, the government may require private organizations not to discriminate on the basis of race, gender, or ethnic background. For example, some associations are so large and their purposes so diverse and focused on social policy that they must comply with anti-discrimination laws. The Rotary Club and the Junior Chamber of Commerce are examples of such organizations. Some private clubs operate much like restaurants, providing regular meals to members and their guests. Such clubs must comply with laws that prohibit discrimination. Some employers pay their employees memberships and associations. In general, if members do not pay the dues themselves, then the association must comply with laws that prohibit discrimination. These issues can be very difficult. The difficulties reflect the tension between two important ideals. One, eliminating unfair discrimination in American life. And two, the right of each individual to live his or her life as free as possible from government interference. That's all for today's podcast, 60 Second Civics, where civic engagement only takes a minute.